Hey everybody, welcome. I am bringing you after that 2020 love forecast. I thought I would take a special look at singles. Uh, what's who's coming toward you? Any blocks or challenges to that person coming on your path? And then if there are blocks and challenges, what the advice will be in the extended. I'm going to then look at the connection between you and this new person. Any messages, energetic messages they're trying to send out in advance and then timing. When might this person come on your path? So that's what we're going to do, but we're going to do a pick a card style because it's raining and gray and dismal here and I'm really sad and down about it. So I thought let's do something fun and exciting. So this is pile one that has Amazonite. This is pile two. It has Angelite. And this is pile three, which has Celestite. All three stones are blue. They're good for the throat chakra. This is about finding your voice, speaking your truth, and communicating maybe with somebody somebody new. They all have good healing properties. They help with stress. They help with um, anxiety. They help with staying spiritually connected so you can't go wrong. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath with me. I'll count you out and then choose the pile that speaks to you, the energy that you're receiving. Are you ready? Okay. Big, deep inhale. Long, slow exhale. Take a second and pick your pile. One, two, three. Got it? Wonderful. If you're brand new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing, liking, and sharing my video. And those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your support. We passed 1,000. We're on to 1,100. I couldn't be happier or more excited. Let's do this. Okay. I'm picking some oracle cards for you first. Here is Moonology. The answers you need are coming. Beautiful. That is the full moon Gemini. Wow, the answers you need are coming. Message in a bottle is coming from Wisdom of the Oracle. And then your energy oracle is Goddess of the Moon. Interesting, you got two full moons here. And the coloring, I mean, I just love that energy. So I do want to look at this answers you need are coming just for a second. Let's see. Full moon in Gemini is the card. And it says here, um, additional meanings here might be don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off this situation and just move on. Or job applications have good prospects. It's a reminder that it's important to speak your truth. That's the card. And boy, didn't I tell you that was what this was all about? And then we have the wisdom um, of the oracle. That's card 15. You get message in a bottle. And it's about communication again, a sign. And it is pointing the way to your highest good, this message in a bottle. That's nice. With regard to relationship, it means you can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, a phone call, or an email. So maybe there is somebody out there that you know, pile one. Um, you are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. Wow, message in a bottle for you. And then the goddess uh, of the moon coming from the energy oracle. These are really connected, I feel. This is intuition going within, exactly what I was talking about with the, with the crystals. So it says, upright, this shows an eternal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the abil ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. So that card brings you all kinds of information. These, all three of these cards feel very connected to me. So I'm just going to leave them right here. Actually, I think I'm going to put them over here. So you can kind of have them in your sights. Okay. 
Are you ready? Okay, you are showing up here as Page of Cups, a small message of love, flirtation. Okay, this, this person who's coming toward you, someone in the energy of the lovers, ready to make a choice for love. That's the energy of Gemini. Doesn't have to be a Gemini. I'm just telling you the... The major arcana we have two in a row here we have the chariot that's cancerian energy and that is moving forward last card another major arcana the empress divine feminine this is unconditional love wow 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 okay so who's coming toward you you're in the energy of page of cups i like that that's like a fresh start at love and who's coming toward you lover's energy here for pile number one high priestess whoever this is is very spiritually attuned to a pentacles they're sort of um maybe they're weighing the pros and cons of moving toward you temperance there yes this is transmutation and patience they're being very patient they are th these two cards feel very aligned to me that feels like whoever it is is trying to is, is here in the 3d balancing and weighing the options on the ground the energies and this is energetic balancing as well so it kind of feels like spiritually they're ener they're balancing and here in the 3d they're balancing um the energies trying and and yet they're not they're, they haven't communicated their interest to you yet they are making a choice on when and how to do that that's pretty cool but they're very much unto themselves right now. They're taking in all this information, really relying on their intuition, their higher self, their spiritual team. They may not know they're doing that because they are here in the 3D with this juggling energy. Um, and they are being very patient because they want to come toward you in the right, with the right temperament, with the right energy behind it. Very nice. And then we go to um, the block or the challenge. The block or the challenge is when is this going to get going? right hmm when is it going to move forward let's see what we learn about that when will this move forward when will, when will this person move toward them mm, they have to release something first they're feeling very tied king of swords oh they have to free themselves from something they're in the middle of a transformation so we do have a delay here, I feel. I feel like the delay, the, this person is, is choosing love. I'll tell you that much. They're choosing love. You're open to it with this page of cups. They're choosing love, the lovers. Got it? That is Gemini energy. I'm just saying that. High Priestess is um, Pisces. Temperance is Sagittarius. I just like to tell you the major arcana energy, but that doesn't mean that's who this is. Here we have Cancerian energy, the chariot. What's that blocker challenge? What's the blocker challenge? There is a tie here. There is some, there is like, um, whoever this person is feels, they feel a little controlled by their, their standards, their morals, their values, this king of swords. This is an energy that's sort of detached. It can be a little cool um and very discerning because they're very concerned about i mean they live by a code i say this all the time so it's not just high standards for for you it's for them and they're feeling very tightly controlled by that right now so that may be blocking them from moving forward but they're in the midst of a transformation some energy has to die off and i think it has to do with this the devil energy that is the energy of capricorn and we do have um, the death card is Scorpio. But I kind of feel like there's something they still feel tied to yet um, that is stopping them from moving forward because they want to do it the right way. So they may be in another connection that this would be an example. If they're in another connection, if they've seen you, they've spotted you, they're making a choice for you. Uh, they're weighing the options on the ground and perhaps they're in, they're involved in a different connection or they feel that they haven't completely gotten free from another connection. They want to do it the right way. I think this is good character here. And so they're transforming. Something has to die off. Something kind of has to die off before they can comfortably move toward you. And that's the block or the challenge. 
Why is the Empress here as advice? I say just, I say remain open to it. This is divine feminine energy, right? She's yin. She's very allowing. She's not the chaser. Empress energy here. Mm -hmm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come in. Oh, wow. Pile one. Yes. The advice here is lay back. See how she's almost in a reclining position. Stay in the energy of the Empress. Stay in the energy of divine feminine. Be open, receptive, and allowing. Don't push. Allow it to come to you in its own divine time. All right. Ace of Wands, look at that. Brand new passion coming in, coming toward you. It is coming slowly. It is coming slowly. We got a whole long year here. What's your hurry? Ace of Cups. Now you have Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Brand new passion, brand new love, and all that's in between it is time. So be in the, res be in the energy of Divine Feminine. Be in the energy of allowing, of unconditional love, allowing things to come toward you. And I think you're going to have a very amazing experience when this person finally releases themselves from whatever tie they it's in their it's their own connect it's their own it's something they've created in their own mind. Okay, this is like mind over matter. This is a matter of them getting the will the will to release themselves. They want to do it in the right way. Good, we're all fine with that. I approve, Laura approves. And then they will be able to shed the skin of that. It's very snake-like energy that they're trying to extract themselves from. There's something there that feels like it's very low vibration and it is requiring something to die off before those wheels of the chariot will start to move. I think that's all for your highest and best good. I know nobody likes to hear, oh, it's going to move slow. But hey, the best things in life are worth waiting for. If I, if I knew I had this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Cups coming in, I'd wait the whole darn year for that to happen. And I'd be working on myself and I'd be, I'd be putting in my time and energy and all in high vibration love. I'd be really focusing on myself in the role of divine feminine, being open, receptive, allowing, creative, life affirming, unconditional love energy. I'd be working on that in my meditation, in just my daily interactions with my own family and friends. I'd really be just starting now to inhabit and embody that energy. Okay, pile one. Beautiful, beautiful reading. In the extended, if this is your pile and you want to go to the extended to see who it is, we're going to talk more about this connection, who is this person um, to you and how would you interact, any messages they would like to send you energetically. I know you haven't met, or maybe you have, and they just haven't appeared as the, as the one yet because they're holding back. See, they're in high priestess, so they may not have told you yet. And then the last thing we'll look at is timing, okay? So what does this mean? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick this all up. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm going to take your three cards here, put it aside, and move to, I believe it was this one was next. Pile number two is the angelite. Let's get this ready to go. All right, are we ready? Well, so, pile number two, we have step out of your comfort zone. That's a North Node card. This is your life purpose card. If you're at all interested in North Node and having me explore that in some videos or in a in a like a separate workshop please put it in the comments i have a lot of good information on the north node it is how it it's it's the way you live your purpose okay and then we up oh, look to the sea card number 7 very spiritual and your third card here from the energy oracle is action so I like that because think about it, 
you've got you've got stepping out of your comfort zones feels motion to me to the sea is literally getting in the boat and going out to sea and three is action so i'm getting a vibe here for you pile number two let's take a peek at this the north node card is page 116 i love this deck Yes, there's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction, right, to the sea. Additional meanings for this card. You're heading for something which feels like destiny. You need to face a fear and get over it. Time to stop obsessing about someone or something, right, because we're, we're singles here now. Stand on your own two feet. And last but not least, you've got this. I like that. Then we go to the Wisdom of the Oracle, card number seven. I love that for you. This is to the sea. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another, okay? But because this isn't a relationship yet, I'm going to kind of switch over to the general message. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow and trust faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. And that's good because it's telling you to step out of your comfort zone. I started re reading, I apologize, I started reading the relationship message because that's habit for me. But I'm reading for singles here. So I don't want to read about the relationship yet. I want to read about you. Okay, your energy. All right, card 17 in the Energy Oracle is... This card tells you that now is the time for more aggressive forward movement. The galloping horses represent intentional and concerted action directed to your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track. But your determined efforts must increase the white horse's inner action of spirit and thought. The black is the outer work that still needs to be done. So continue taking action. Trust your intuition. In time, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. So I kind of feel you're getting a little mixed message, but I've got it figured out. First, you have to step out of your comfort zone, right? You have to break free of things that um, are routine and habit and maybe try to focus on your destiny a bit more. In order to do that, you sort of have to go with the flow a bit. You have to go with the flow and see where this being out of your comfort zone takes you. And then you get focused on your goals and you take directed action. So I like that. I think it's sort of a progression is what I'm feeling here for these three cards. They build on each other. All right. Let's look at your energy here. Pile two, you come in here as the Knight of Pentacles. Steady as she goes. And the person who's coming on your path, wow, Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who's really doing very well for themselves or, well, I'll, I'll clarify it, or who um, is really looking for a life partner to build, to build a life with. And uh, the block or the challenge may be with regard, this is death card again. Um, this is transformation. It's sort of something needs to die off in order to go from this to this. Advice is leap of faith, full card, brand new life, leap of faith, take the risk. So I'm going to clarify that right now. All right. So first I want to look at you here as the knight of pentacles in that energy that's good in a way it means that you're you're being patient you're being methodical deliberate very responsible knight of pentacles here for pile number two two of wands yes because it's about your future something something's already been done you've you've completed 
and ended and you're now moved beyond a painful cycle um, that's why you're now choosing a new path but you're doing so very slow and deliberately and you're really weighing your options here in real time you're really trying to think about like maybe you're even thinking do I want to do I want to make myself vulnerable again in the future because what I just came through was so painful and it makes sense then that you would move slowly it makes sense I do see my computer sticking again but so far so good okay so here we have the person coming toward you it could be an earth sign this could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn we also have Scorpio and we have Aquarius so um, we'll see more in the extended what those energies are ten of Pentacles here this person coming toward pile number two Huh. yeah it's gonna be a twin con wow whoa this person coming toward you is ready to settle down they're ready to build a life um, this is a marriage card it is a card of life partnership so is this card ace of wands brand new passion we don't just light the match we light a torch here this is what's coming toward you pile two so yeah uh, are you feeling the need to move slow I don't blame you slow and steady wins the race uh, this is about your future the pain is behind you let it go there's nothing more to juggle about here put those pentacles down because this is what's coming in for you this is what's coming in mm -hmm. the block or the challenge is this death card yeah she's doing the dead man's float in the river there death card this is the block or the challenge this beautiful twin flame connection coming in okay so this person is just about to lay a burden down they are at the nine of wands that they have completed a lesson and they're just at the end of their ropes here so this is transformation for this person before they can move to the ten of cups so i do feel that that they are they they need to release one more wand they need to sort of do that to get the ten of wands and here's that one more wand it belongs to you so i do feel this person is in the middle of releasing something that no longer serves them something has to die off before they can move forward toward you and they are at the nine of wands so the lesson's been learned it's just not they can't lay it down just yet but this is what this is what they want this is what they're after ten of pentacles ten of cups hmm and then we have the fool this is the advice the advice to you the advice to them take a leap of faith why is the fool showing up well there you go that's why brand new love my goodness okay pile number two that is crazy and look what's on the bottom ace of swords flash of insight flash of truth this is your truth it's like unless and until both of you and you you may not have ever met this person i'm not getting any indication that you have um if you take the leap of faith if you hear pile two release the juggling act know that the worst of the pain is behind you it's done this is about your future i appreciate you moving slow methodically deliberately responsibly but you're going to have to stop juggling weighing the pros and cons get out there because you need to take a leap of faith that this is available for you both of you need to take that leap of faith ace of cups ace of swords this is truth but this is also recognition a flash of insight the divine gift of knowledge of oh my gosh i found the one this is a victory card look at the little crown on top of that ace and this is look at the crown here this is victory in love victory in in truth honesty integrity knowledge wisdom insight very powerful what's coming toward you here the person that's coming toward you i will look at this connection more closely in the extended 
and I will look at messages that this person is trying to send you energetically and timing cards for when they when you might expect them to come on your path. Pile two, fabulous, fabulous energy. Wow, and I, I do love this. I love that there's this progression here, stepping out of your comfort zone, going with the flow, and then finally when it, when it appears at your doorstep or right in front of you, if you're out and about, jump on that, take the action. Okay, and last but not least, we have pile number three with the celestite. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. That is from Moonology. Wisdom Oracle, go the distance. Hold your vision and go the distance. Wow. It's talking about commitment. Third chakra, solar plexus. Yes. Your stamina, your fortitude. I will look at these cards first, as you know. Fixed moon. This is fun. I've been sort of in the doldrums, guys, because it's so bloody nasty here. But I think this was a good idea. I'm starting to perk up a bit. Okay. Fixed moon is page 106. That is my only complaint about this book is it's not easy to find your way around. The cards aren't numbered. It's okay. The messages are good. Uh, there are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second, very different interpretation, is that something is stuck. Additional meaning, staying power, faith, or patience are needed. Someone needs to back down. This is if you're in conflict. Avoid stagnation. That feels very true for me here. And or a personal or professional relationship will be enduring. Holding your vision. Um, it is up to you to decide what's going on and how this card applies to you. But to me, this feels about holding your vision, not like really laser focused on what you're trying to manifest. That's how I feel. That's what I feel the energy is. The go the distance, 47. This is nice. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience, right? Hold your vision and go the distance. That's think long term. Don't pay any attention to the fluctuations. Join disappointment, commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Perfect. Yes, and those two go together. And then when I see this, third chakra... Card 37 is upright. The powerful Archangel Shamuel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When this card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. Hmm. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is now with you. Go for it. Those three also feel very connected to me in a progressed way. Hold your vision so you can go the distance, and man, get ready. This is your vital force energy coming forward now. Oh, look how you're coming forward here. Pile number three, the lovers making a choice. This person that's coming toward you, Knight of Wands, fast moving, fiery, passionate energy. By the way, lovers is Gemini. This is um, Aries Leo Sag, emphasis on Sagittarius. Uh, the block or the challenge, Ten of Swords. And we have, um, oh, wow, look at this advice, Four of Wands. That made me just, I just got excited. Now, 
I'm going to switch something out for you. This lovely little modern witch deck has a second ten of swords, and it says, everything is fine. There you go. <laughs> I just changed up that energy like that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So let's look at the energy you're stepping forward with here. First pile number three. The lovers. What's this lover's energy about? Making a choice. Well, you may... This feels very much... Um, a lot of communication with regard to some truth that's coming in. Some This is a divinely gifted insight, wisdom, truth, knowledge. Some It's information that comes in. Um, it's sort of like a lightning bolt, a flash of insight, something. And I feel like you're, you're communicating this. And it has to do with regard to the energy of stability and balance. This is a Six of Pentacles. It's a charitable, giving, generous energy, but it is about balance, fairness, and reciprocity, equal give and take. So I kind of have a feeling that that's the, the choice you're making right now is, do I... Um, this feels very energetic. Am I ready? to receive this insight? Am I ready to receive this truth about a situation? Am I balanced enough? Am I stable enough? Is there enough wiggle room in my life to receive this? So I am feeling communication, but I feel it's like you're communicating with yourself. Um, you may be sending energetic messages to whoever this is. You may know this person. You may know this person. This Knight of Wands coming on the path for pile three. Who's coming toward them? Knight of Wands coming toward pile number three. Past life soulmate. I'm right. See? Past life soulmate. Yeah. This is someone returning for pile three. This is a return of someone from your past, possibly a long time ago. This is why it's somebody you may be in communication with right now. Um, and you're making a choice as to, see, I, I, I should have waited. You're, may, you're you may be in communication with them and you're prepared and you're like waiting for this divinely guided insight. You're waiting for some, this feels more timing to me. Like you're waiting to hear something or receive some information that tells you you'll be safe and stable and balanced. Everything's going to be fair, fine, equal. And um, they're coming in fast. They're coming towards you fast. So that's why I think you're communicating with them fast. Right? This is fast moving communicative energy. You can't even be traveling to one another. This is a card of travel and so is this. But it's someone from your past. Someone that you walked away from or that walked away from you. And it caused quite a lot of instability, quite a lot of, um, for this person, whether they left you or you left them, um, or you both walked, decided to part ways, it, it never left their thoughts. It never left their thoughts. You never left their thoughts. That's who's coming toward you right now. So you may know that that person's coming toward you, but mm, Ten of Swords. The blocker challenges Ten of Swords. Everything's fine. <laughs> I love this little deck. Everything is fine. Wow. Card on the bottom is Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to take that. Very simple message, pile number three. The question is uh, that the... the, the um, challenge is is what can we get beyond the pain and the ending see something ended very pain, pain, end of a painful cycle i know i think this is talking about the connection in a previous either incarnation or your last time with this person and the challenge or the you know can you forgive them this is a card this is judgment 
card of Scorpio, it's also um, forgiveness and second chances. And on the bottom is that Queen of Pentacles. And this is why I think this is your energy here, Pile 3, because this st stability and equality and fairness and equal give and take and reciprocity is really important to you. That must have been missing in your last round with this person. And so this is you standing here saying, hey, I I'm, you know, here's the blocker challenge. I'm all about stability. And I'm, right now I'm taking care of myself. I'm looking out for number one. But... The block is whether or not you, because this is you, whether or not you can let go of the pain of the past ending and offer forgiveness and um, second chances. And the advice? Lifetime partner, twin flame soulmate, 1111. Why is the four of wands here? As advice for pile three, beautiful messages for you here. All three were really terrific. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I love it. One more, please. All right. So I think the advice is you have to release the abandonment here. You have to let the sun shine. This is, uh, just so you know, this is the card of Leo. The sun, this is vulnerability. You have to make yourself vulnerable. So you're either going to stay, you know, the advice is release the abandonment. Release the scarcity, the lack mindset. Release your fear of being rejected again. Release release the fear of, be, of, of um, not being um, stable. Be vulnerable. That's where your happiness is. That's where your happiness is. And the last card that was uh, came out here is Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot to process. Okay, this is some confusion. It can be some overwhelm. It can... Um, I just feel you have a lot to process. And, and if you process it, especially if you process it with this person, here's what's waiting for you. We have, two, we have two cards here that are cautionary. Five of um, Pentacles and Seven of Cups. They're not negative cards, but they have a flavor to them. If this is the advice, here's what's waiting for you, life partnership. What you need to work for is your abandonment issues or your scarcity mindset or your lack mindset. Go in the door of the darn church to access the warmth of this connection. Do that and you will find the sun shining upon you. You are safe and protected and sheltered and loved. And joy and happiness is yours for the taking. <clears throat> provided you work through all this emotional overwhelm. And I do feel that that's very needed. I think it's really solid, good advice. I would take it. Um, you may need to work with it you know work through that with this person you may both need to go to a counselor or work with somebody in you know in your faith faith-based or just a counselor um, to help you process all this if it's that important to you you will do that in the meantime pile three if this is your story the extended is going to cover the connection between the two of you any messages they're trying to send you energetically and a timing card we'll see what how long this it might be before this comes on the scene or when you may be able to process some of this okay beautiful messages for everyone and hey look if you feel like well i picked pile one but pile two really spoke to me that's okay take ownership of it it's yours all right. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Here's what's coming up. I'm doing individual Zodiac readings again this week for leading up to January 10th's full wolf moon and eclipse. So there are po uh, very powerful energies that will be swirling around us. So that's what's coming next. Keep your eyes open. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing the videos, and I will see you soon. Uh, links to the individual piles are below. Take care. Bye, everyone.